Hello, hello. Welcome back to part two of this little mini series, Altered, Altered Notebooks. So this time I'm going to use these very plain lined notebooks and this one that I've just cut down. And I'm quite excited about this because um, it's, it's not the kind of thing that I would normally use, but it is stunning printed. And that is... Gail's beautiful painted papers and I just thought this blue and this paper pff, it's made for each other um so again I don't think it matters which way round these goes so these are going to be kind of I'm going to do two little notebooks um very 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 straightforward I'm going to make these so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut now I'm going to fold this in half it's going to be very similar to the first um notebook in a lot of ways so I'm gonna just cut that in half or cut a sliver off for this one and this one I just need to I actually really want that piece I I don't know if I prefer yeah I'm actually gonna fold this in half too because I do prefer the ends so I'm gonna cut that in half I'm going to put it against the book and I'm going to make a little mark where I want to cut. Okay. Um, I've also printed a, a piece uh, much smaller and I'll show you. I'm going to use that for the pocket. So I'm just going to cut this. Where's the line? Where did I make my line? Oh, I can't believe I keep doing this. It's because Gail's got black lines on it. It's completely thrown. I'm really cross with my phone because it just stopped filming. Just stopped filming. Ah, so frustrating. And then you realise, I mean, luckily I haven't actually quite finished these, but um, this one, I've literally cut it and glued it on. That's it. Um, and I just think that on its own look looks fantastic. And if you received that as happy mail, I'd be chuffed sick. You know, it's the cost of the Gail's digital kit and the cost of a note, an exercise book. It was a pack of two, uh, you know, next to nothing. This one I did slightly differently. I cut the pages. Um, I printed this 50% and all I've done is I've sewn this one around the edges. I did, you know, it was all filmed. <laughs> um, and that's now a pocket on the front. That's as far as I've got. So hopefully it's not going to just cut off on me again i have no idea why i think it's got something to do with the air server maybe my mac is too far away from where i'm filming now i don't know so i have uh, you know I, I, this is where i i was saying i wish i was more like liz mrs cog and i in my sari silk in advance <laughs> unfortunately i don't so my sari silk's a bit pants now i pulled this out because i wanted the blue and i think on this one I'm going to use the blue so I'm just going to cut a piece off but on this one I had picked pink although I also think this yellow oh no let's go yellow let's go yellow oh, I think that looks fab I think you can do pretty much anything you like with these with this color um but yeah, I was talking about notebooks as well, how cheap they are and how easy they are to get hold of. You know, in packs of three, we have quite a few shops in Ipswich where I am, um, where you can get kind of pack of three um, A6 notebooks for, you know, just less than a couple of, couple of pounds. And it doesn't take a lot to jazz them up and send them out for happy mail. I think it's an awesome happy mail thing. Um, I don't think that's in the bit that's actually filmed. Uh, me me talking about notebooks. So if that's a repeat, I apologise. Um, this is just super easy. I'm just literally fabricating <laughs> a piece of sorry silk down the seam. The spine of this couldn't be couldn't be simpler. And I, I quite like the wrinkles. I'm not bothered about the wrinkles. I'm going to just add a little piece up here. I'm 
didn't quite get that right and I don't want that big fold. Oh, look, I've got a piece of glue now. Oh, pants. Oh, well, it's it's how my day's going. <laughs> it has been quite funny, though, I must admit. I think I just hit the camera with my head, so sorry if I did. Sorry if it wobbled a bit. Um, so, you know, I used Susan's kit in the last video. Absolutely brilliant. Loved the, loved it. Um, Gail's kit for this one. So I'll link Gail below, but I'll also link Susan down below as well. And the third kit I'm going to be using, um, is from Liz. Lovely Mrs. Cog. Um, that one, looking forward to just showing you what I've done with one of the notebooks and I'll make the make the second one on film but it's just you know you can do so much with a digital kit in a notebook or a book page in a notebook Love it. I think that's so cute. I'm a bit, a bit cross with myself for getting glue on that now, but never mind. So we've got this one with a pocket, this one without, this one's not sewn, this one is. Now what I have for the next piece is I've got two labels and I picked blue thinking I should have blue because the covers were blue, but now I'm starting to think maybe I should have gone for a brighter colour. So I'm just going to, I think I might go for green. And what else have I got? Actually, I might go green on there, pink on there. Yep, quite like that. So I'm going to cut this. Oh, I keep doing that. I always cut over to the right when I'm working with my little pile of mess, keeping my mess together. And when I'm filming, I forget that if I move over to the right, I'm off, off film. So I apologize. It's just habit to keep that little pile of mess over to my right. Right, a little bit of ink. I didn't do a very good job of cutting that pink one out. It's because I'm panicking. It's, I, I now feel like I have to rush in case the camera stops again. <laughs> okay, so I've got some black paper. I'm going to try and be super careful not to get glue on the black paper because... Fabri-Tac on, on black paper shows a mile, really stands out. Okay, that's label number two. Let's make sure they're glued down. Now, I'm not going to measure, I'm just gonna roughly cut these out for a second. I'm going to go just doing it by eye, just giving this a little black border. Just to tie in that black. In actual fact, this black is not as good black as the black in Gail's painted papers. It's getting smaller and smaller as I'm trying to cut it straight. <laughs> Do you do that? My my dad did that to my fringe once when I was really small. Um, I I got my mum got me out of the bath because obviously I was little. Um, she, she said, "Go downstairs while I finish bathing your brother, and tell your dad to get the scissors out. And when I come down, I'll cut your fringe." Well, my dad saw that as get the scissors out and cut my fringe, so he did. And I had a fringe that was about that long one side and it went up to about that long the other side. But there was I had to have quite a lot of hair cut off to try and try and blend in the fringe that my dad had cut. 
I can't remember what my mum said when she came down the stairs, but I don't think she was best pleased. I'm going to just put that up there. Get rid of the glue that's dangling off my fingers. And I quite like this green with the green circle around it. That looks pretty cool. Okay. I love them. I wonder if this is, yeah, probably is long enough. I don't know if the... So what I might do is just a little tie closure, blue sari silk on this notebook. And more pink on this one. Don't they look fabulous? I love them. Absolutely love them. And I, I don't know about you, but if I got these in Happy Mail, I, I'd be super happy. So, Gail, thank you so much for the amazing papers. Um, thank you for watching. What part of the video was actually here? I apologise again. Um, me and technology. It does make me laugh when I get questions about technology because <laughs> I've kind of proved that I'm not very good at it. Actually, what I want to do is just show you one more thing. Um, I'm not going to actually make this, but I am going to show you what I had planned if I can find the book. Um, oh, oh, it's over here. So this is another one of, because this was, I decided on this, but this was another one of Gail's kits that I was going to use. Uh, Luna didn't actually fancy that bit on there. So um, she, you know, she she tried to do something about that. But these lace papers that Gail has would look pretty amazing. If I, that was maybe half there. Just literally wrapped around this notebook. I think that would be so easy and pretty. So easy to do, but so pretty. Let's just see. That would be that would be fab i think i'm going to make this one not now i'm just going to roughly cut that to size to give you an idea but again one page one page from a printed kit onto a notebook wouldn't even have to worry about a spine i think i'm going to glue this one and this will also go into my little but I know it's very, very simple and very, very straightforward. But look how, how cute would that be? Um, so this is going to go into my Happy Mail pile. I'm not sure if I mentioned it at the end of the video I did of Susan's kit. Um, but I'm going to be picking people off my rack list in my group and just randomly sending these notebooks out that I'm making. So part three will be the lovely Liz, Mrs. Cog. Um, and hopefully you'll join me again for this short but disastrous series. See you soon. Bye.